What I can already tell you though, is the cheek is popping. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I usually focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, I do encourage you to click on that notification bell. I tend to upload once or twice a week and YouTube does not always push out those videos, so I don't want you to miss thing. Today we are going to be testing out some new makeup y'all. I have been in my makeup era if you will and so I picked up a few things from Ulta that I'm excited to uh, test out and try with you all today. I haven't tried any of the products that I um, picked up. You know this is my first time today so this should be fun and exciting but also a chill video okay. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this makeup look then stick around. Well, let's play in some makeup. I've been into makeup lately and yeah I got a few things. I went to Ulta. You know those days when you just like you just want to spend a little money and try some stuff out. So I got some stuff um, that we're going to be trying out today. And then I also have some things that I received in PR that I've never used. So we're going to see if we're going to use those things. So I've already washed my face. I used the Sunita's um, skincare and I moisturized with my CeraVe um, with SPF. So I'm just going to put my hair in a little clip. I also uh, got my brows done last week. I get my brows threaded so I don't need to do anything to those. I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I am in the shade Amber Honey. I did pick up a new foundation which is the um, Laura Mercier Flawless, Real Flawless Weightless Foundation. But after further inspection and reviewing, um, I hear that people are saying that it's good for dry skin. I have combo skin, um, not dry at all, but if I had to choose, it would be in the middle. It can go oily just over time, but I don't really have oily skin either. Also, my skin is doing pretty good, so I don't want to ruin it um, by putting on a new foundation. So I just have like one pimple, like right here that's going away, and I don't want any more. So I'm gonna go in with my tried and true. Love this. You don't need a lot of this. Um, it is a full coverage foundation, and I just love it so much. I'm also gonna go in with my e.l.f. powder brush. And this is just like a dense powder brush. I like using this a lot. My mirror is here, so that's why I'm looking off to the side if you guys are wondering. Also, I'm wearing my contacts for the first time since like 2020. Um, I stopped wearing my contacts because I wasn't really leaving the house and I can't see far away, but I can see perfectly fine, like close and, you know, just like normal eyesight. <laughs> but like far away, I don't see that well. But because I was working from home and everything, I never needed them. And I felt like I had adjusted my eyes back to really not needing um, glasses or anything anymore. You know, because you become dependent on glasses when you wear them or contacts. And I was like, oh, I'm doing good. But <laughs> lately I've been noticing, like I'm watching TV and I'm not seeing as clear as I want. So I put my contacts back in today and baby, a whole new world, okay? World. So yeah, my vision um, is a negative two, if you're wondering. It's not horrible, but I do like to see. <laughs> and today I'm going to um, a little happy hour at LA Jackson here in Nashville. It's located um, at the top of the Thompson Hotel. It's a rooftop and they're doing this thing called Tropical Global. So it's like a happy hour type thing that they're doing in the month of June. And they offered to host me today. So that's where I'm going if you guys are wondering. The foundation has been applied. I do wanna kinda go over it a little bit in my damp beauty blender. Okay, so let's go in with our first new product. This is the Stay Naked Quickie up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer. And I'm gonna be using the shade 50WO, I believe. I got this in PR. 
and this is obviously going to be a highlighting shade i have looked up a couple of reviews on this and i hear that it um, dries extremely fast it also comes with a dense brush on top i'm not going to use that i'm going to use my damp beauty blender and you get a lot in here y'all you get 0.55 fluid ounces that's a big concealer kind of like the uh, tarte shape tape and you get a dope with applicator so let's apply this and see it's obviously going to be a brightening concealer but i do like how yellow this is i'm going it's thin too it is kind of like a thin concealer much brighter than i would normally you so I'm a little bit concerned. Mm, let's see, y'all. They say go ahead and blend, so let's just go right in. Ooh, it is bright, but it's not covering my mold much. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's much brighter than I would want it to be. I don't know if it's because it's light or if it's not the coverage that I'm used to. It's very light on me though. Definitely gotta do a lot of blending. Let's go to this side since it kinda set for a bit and let's see how this blends out. What I will say is a very thin concealer. Like it's very like weightless, which I think is good. Um, hmm. Now this is what the concealer looks like. I still feel like I need a little bit more coverage right there in the inner corner. So I'm gonna go in with my tried and true, which is the Morphe filter effect in the shade Rich Warm or Rich 28, which is a warm. I like that. So that I can let sit for sure. What I will do is take the quickie down the bridge of my nose to give me a bit of a highlight so I can contour my nose later. Okay, that's how it looks blended down the nose. I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the inner corners of my eye. Okay, so this is the concealer blended out. So far, I'm gonna say that I could have let this quickie concealer sit for about 15 seconds just to get a little bit more coverage out of it. Um, but it also could be because it's just way too light for my liking. So yeah. We're gonna move on to setting this. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder. This is just the regular translucent powder. Um, I like this a lot. Don't have any issues with flashback or anything. Hold on. Y'all, I messed up because I wanted to get into this um, blush. OMG, let me remove this. It's gonna ruin everything. And I should have did the concealer after. Let's see if we can kind of moisten it a bit. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so I've been hearing a lot about the Juvia's Place blushes, the liquid blushes. I've been wanting to try the Rare Beauty blush, but um, the color Joy was always sold out. So I picked up Lily Love from the Juvia's Place. Um, it's the Juvia's Place, from Juvia's Place. And this is the shade. Now, I did think I picked up a brighter one because I got blush to go with it and this is not the right color, but we'll try it out anyway because I hear these are super pigmented. So let's just see. Ooh, wow. That's the color. Can y'all see that? I'm scared. So I'm gonna blend this out with a beauty blender, but a dry one. Ooh. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, it's that powder. It's that powder. See, I should have did this before I went in with concealer. Um, because I do find that this is picking up some of my concealer and I don't like that. Hmm. That's what that looks like. It is quite pigmented, but this is a way more like toned down color. I'm gonna go over it with my moist beauty blender. Hmm, it's nice. I could go for more, but I'm scared. 
and I wish I would have not said it. I'm also gonna go in with this um, Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand High Blush. What color is this? This is in the shade Pink Gasm. I actually bought this um, the other day and realized that I bought the exact same thing that I had already received in PR, so we're gonna use the free one, of course. So this is the applicator. It's like a little fluffy thing. I guess you just push until product comes out. Nothing's coming out of here. Oh, you can turn it on and off. There we go. <laughs> there we go, okay. Now we're coming up to the top. All right, let's see. Ooh, okay, that's like a very pink kind of color. Mm, let's go in with the wet. That gives a cute glow. I like the glow on this. All right, now I'm gonna go back under my eye and just kind of smooth everything out so that I can sit. I want more concealer on, like, I don't know, maybe because I'm just not used to. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Now with my Morphe, I never have to do all this. It's just one swipe, let it sit and I'm done. I don't know if it's because I use this super light one, but I'm gonna go in and try to brighten it up just a bit. I'm gonna let this sit this time for about 15 to 20 seconds. Okay, let's blend this out after it's set for a minute and see if there's a difference. Okay y'all, so, so far I'm not a huge fan of the uh, Urban Decay Concealer, but we're gonna go ahead and set it and hopefully everything comes together later. Do y'all remember when Urban Decay had the Naked Foundation years ago? They stopped making that and it was one of my favorite foundations. When you shook it up, it sounded like um, it had like a ball or something in there. It was so thin, but yet full coverage. And I loved it. Let's move on to eyes. I bought these from Home Goods, and I love them. I'm gonna pull out my old makeup Shayla palette and also my Morphe palette that I always use. I do have a new palette from Charlotte Tilbury, but it has a lot of um, shimmer shades in there. So I'll show y'all that in a second. I'm just gonna go in for my crease color right now. So this is the new palette. I've never used this before. It is called Instant Eye Palette. Smoky Eyes Are Forever. Um, Prime, Enhance, and Smoke. Let's see if we're gonna use this. Yeah, the shades in this are gorgeous. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right there in the middle. And I'm gonna use a thicker brush. I'm gonna go in with my MAC 227 brush. Oh, it's different sets of smoky eyes. That's what it is, I see. That's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go in. Oh, that's so pigmented. Can y'all see that? Wow, I wanted to kind of go subtle today. <laughs> My goodness, that's just one like swipe. And this brush is like thicker, so it's not supposed to like pack it on, you know? So I do recommend this palette because wow. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. All right, let's blend that out a little bit. Because I have hooded lids, I don't like, I just always do like a diffused eye, nothing too, you know, defined. And it works for me. Should I brighten up a little bit? Let's try another color out of here. I'll go in with the lighter shade. It's kind of glittery. Oh, y'all, these are so pigmented. Like for every day, yeah. beautiful though. Absolutely gorgeous. I kind of want to turn my lighting down a bit. I think that's better. So you can see the eyes, super cute, right? And I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe palette and just go in with the same shade that I put in my crease just to kind of deepen it a bit. And diffuse. 
So this is super cute and easy. But yeah, I do recommend um, this Charlotte Tilbury palette because wow, very, very, very pigmented. Now I'm gonna go in with the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen. This is just a black liner. I like this though because it doesn't tug at my eye and it's pretty black. Next, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Epic Eye Liner, Ink Liner, and I'm just gonna do the thinnest line um, on the top. It is daytime, so I'll go back over it once I apply my lash, but I don't want like a super thick black line today. Now let's wipe away our translucent powder. I don't really see any of that blush. I mean, a little, but nothing crazy. I didn't put a lot on though. So maybe that's one. <laughs> but we're gonna go in with our contour. Today I'm gonna use my Anastasia contour in mahogany. Um, it's almost gone, but I like to use this one sometimes. So that's what that looks like. Now I will say that concealer down the bridge of my nose did the contouring for me because I don't even have to go in with like a thin brush to contour today. So I'm liking that. Yeah, that looks good just by itself. For highlight, I'm gonna pull out this oldie. This is Perfectly Poised by MAC. It's a mineralized type of highlight. And because the, uh, to me that pink gasm showed up very like bronzy. So I'm gonna put that on. Let's see how this looks. There we go. I usually don't wear highlighters these days, but this is such a gorgeous one and I haven't used this in forever. So that's how that looks. Now for the fun part, this is another new product. This is the Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge in volume five. Look at this, like y'all, the color is not showing up. It's so freaking bright. This top color is a dupe for the House of Labs Watermelon Bliss. I'm kind of scared to put this on. It is so freaking bright, y'all. Like, I don't, y'all, the color is not showing up. Let's see. Ooh. Wow. It is so bright, y'all. Look at that. That's a cheek, though. That is a cheek. Hmm. Should I add a little bit of the lighter? I'll put a little bit of the lighter, too. You don't need much of this. I mean, the smallest amount. So I'm gonna keep this for sure. I like it a lot. When I have like a very bright blush, I like to go underneath my contour line with whatever was left over on my powder puff um, and wipe it away immediately. Just to give it more of a defined look. Since it's summertime, I'm gonna set my foundation. Actually, I usually don't, but I wanna pull out my Sephora, um, what is this called? The Micro Smooth Powder on a puff. And I do feel like my pores are kind of showing today. So, just gonna press this into the skin. This is gonna be like a full bead. <laughs> Anytime I do powder, I feel like it looks like a full bead. My blush is sitting though. Look, look at that. It's everything. Everything. That looks so good. This blush is hitting. With that highlight, I may need to revisit this for summer, girl. Also picked up this Morphe Continuous um, Setting Mist. I don't usually set my um, foundation, but again, I wanted to try this. They also just came out with the new one, the Prep something in prime prep set whatever I don't know but I never used the original so I want to try it it sounds like there's nothing in here I don't like setting sprays that make my face feel tight when I spray them on so I'm hoping this one doesn't have like that um hairspray type of feel let's see mm. the mist on this is beautiful Oh, it just makes you want to keep spraying it, even though I probably don't need it. 
this mist is everything. I like the spray on it now. This is good. Let's see if it makes my skin feel tight though. Let me go ahead and put some brow gel on. This is the clear brow gel from Anastasia. Nothing beats the Anastasia clear brow gel in my opinion. Now I don't go for like the laminated brows, but this just keeps my brow hairs kind of up um, because they do tend to fall down. But this is not like the refi brow gel that's like, again, for those laminated type of brows, you know, that look. And now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm gonna use my push-up lashes, Pillow Talk push-up lashes from Charlotte. I'm almost out of this actually, so I'm gonna go in on the top with um, the Telescopic Lift from L'Oreal. I like this one a lot, but it's just like a lot of product is usually on this brush, so you have to be kind of careful. But I think this is a great alternative to the Pillow Top Push Up Lashes if you really like that one, because it has a similar one. I still don't know what I'm wearing today. It's supposed to rain even though it's like so hot outside, so that makes it difficult. <laughs> and it's like an indoor outdoor space. But yeah, I have my um, mascara on. I think I'm good to go on the face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. I wear Amazon lashes. I will definitely link them down below. They don't have a name. Um, and these are like the shorter ones that I like to wear. So I'm gonna go in with my Kiss Glue. And the key to good lash application is to let the glue pretty much set. I mean, I go and actually throw a few curls in my hair and then I come back and apply mine. You may not have to let it sit that long, but it just makes it so much easier. Like, So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let the lashes sit for a second. I'm gonna go throw some curls in my hair real quick. And I just wanna touch on um, the Morphe spray. So far, my face doesn't feel tight. It feels good and yeah, I'm loving it so far. So we'll come back and see. Okay y'all, so I'm back with the lashes applied. Let me bring my mold back. So this is how we're looking. Now we're gonna get into the lips. I did pick up a couple new products. Finally got my hands on the Fenty MVP, but we're not going for a red lip today. But I've heard good things, but I also have heard that that transfers a lot. I have the brown um, color and I like that one, but it does not like stay on the lips like that. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go in with this new Juvia's Place liner. This is in the shade Coffee Bean. Been using Cola from Juvia's Place and I really like it. It's soft, so it goes on really smooth. It's a retractable pencil, um, quite affordable. I like them a lot. So I saw that they had a couple of other um, colors available and I wanted to give them a shot one by one because you guys know I love me a good brown lip liner, okay? Oh, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, she looks super dark. Wow, let's see. Y'all, this is very dark and cool toned. Even darker than molasses. Yeah, she's super dark. <laughs> I also picked up this new lipstick. I've never tried any It Cosmetics um, products, but this is the Pillow Lips in Matte High Pigment Moisture Wrapping Lipstick. They were on sale. I got the color Vision and it was only like $10. So I was like, let me test this out. It seems to be like a mauve nude, which I think will be perfect for today. Let's see. Oh, it's super creamy. I like. Mm-hmm. Kind of streaky, but it is very creamy. I love this. Wow. It's so soft. Can y'all see that? I do wish I had my other liner up here to like blend a little bit more. That's warmer because this one is so dark. But that lipstick is super thin and like very creamy. This is nice. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend these. I also picked up a lip glass. Y'all, I haven't used a lip glass in so long. I hadn't even heard of this shade. This is in All Things Magical and it just looks so pretty. I was looking for the Cream Sheen Boy Bait, but they didn't have it. So. This is what it looks like, how gorgeous. I'm excited to put this on. They've changed the packaging a little bit too. 
Ugh, nothing like that vanilla scent. It's so nostalgic. This is a pretty color. Oh, I love this. This lip combo? <laughs> This lip combo? Miss Ma'am. <laughs> it's getting you everything. I love this. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. What are we thinking? I'm liking how it came out. I'm liking the color palette more so, but let's go over the products that I tried today. So first off, the Stay Naked Quickie um, Concealer. Hmm. It's not a favorite of mine. I do find that it's like very thin. And when I blend it out, to me, it kind of just goes everywhere. Even though people said that it dries super quick, I didn't find that to be true. Um, it is supposed to be 24 hour wear. I don't have issues with concealer, um, liquid concealers creasing up on me when I set them. So, and I'm also not gonna use this for 24 hours. But so far, I don't think that this will be anything that I'm gonna reach for. Um, I did get this in PR, so I'll keep it. I may revisit it another time. Next up, we have the Juvia's Place Liquid Blush in the color Lily Love. Um, I did like this, especially on this side, because when I did it, um, I did not, um, you know, I had accidentally set my concealer and everything. Usually I would have done the blush and I would be able to put more on and then go in with my concealer, but I kind of went out of order. So I'm going to still give this a thumbs up. I like it. It's very pigmented. Um, I did not get the color that I wanted, but I think this is a really nice color, especially if you're my skin tone or darker. I did want the brighter um, color, but this is really nice. It's like a burnt orange, so it's going to be perfect for, I think, all year round. Next up, we have the Juvia's Place Powder Blush Set, and I really like this. Extremely pigmented. Look at how that looks, y'all. It is every single thing. I use both colors and literally one like little tap gave me all the color payoff that I needed. So I highly recommend these. They have, I think, six different volumes and you get two blushes in each. I'm definitely going to get another color in this. This is more of like a pink um, shade. I'm going to get the orange one too, which I almost did. And I put it back because I have some orange blushes. Um, so I think that's volume six. I also like the fact that it does come with a mirror as well, even though I don't take my blushes on the go with me. This is a really nice blush palette. And also the top one in volume five to me is a dupe for Watermelon Bliss by the House of Labs. Also the Charlotte Tilbury um, Instant Eye Palette, Smoky Eyes Are Forever. This is absolutely gorgeous like a very luxe product. You don't need much. Like you can see the color payoff on the eyes is every single thing. The only thing I would say is that actually, yeah, this whole thing is good. It's a good travel palette as well because it's very thin. I was going to say it may not have enough like blending shades, but I'm wrong because I see a couple of matte shades in here. Um, They have one, two, three, four, five matte shades, including a very dark black and a dark brown. So that's something that I do look for in palettes, especially when I'm traveling with them. I need a dark brown just in case I need to fill in my brow and I need it to be matte. And this one seems like a perfect color, but I can also use that dark brown to darken up the crease for like nighttime looks as well. So this one is really good. I'm excited to test out the other colors. This green in here looks phenomenal and I cannot wait to try that one out and today I just went with like the bronzy tones if you can see so yeah highly recommend this I'm not sure how much it is but I'm sure it's not cheap it is Charlotte Tilbury but look at how thin and compact this is it's gorgeous next up we have the Juvia's Place lip liners I know I like the lip liners I've tried cola I use that one all the time it's a little bit more of a um 
warm brown, similar to molasses. It goes on super smooth. I like the fact that it is a retractable lip pencil and it's very affordable. This time I tried out the coffee brown and it's much more of a dark cool tone brown. So it's really nice. Um, if you're my complexion or darker, I think this would be really good for you. And yeah, this is gorgeous y'all love this. We'll definitely buy more of these. You know, I love me a good brown lip liner and this one is convenient and it fits in my small bag. Also, this lipstick by It Cosmetics, star of the show. Like it is so creamy, so beautiful. I love the color. The shade that I got is Vision. It is matte, but it's not drying at all. Y'all, this goes on so creamy and very thin while also giving you full color payoff within like one swipe. So I really, really, really love this. Not sure why this was on sale, but it's amazing. Like I need more colors in this. And I like the fact that I got like a mauve type of nude color so I can wear it with my bronze looks and my pink looks. Really, really, really beautiful lipstick. Highly recommend it. And did I say whether well, this is the pillow the pillow lips line. So if they are getting rid of them, maybe stock up. <laughs> and last but not least, the MAC lip glass. You guys know MAC lip glass is tried and true. Um, to me, the stickiness does not bother me. I've heard people talk about the stickiness over the years. It's not an issue for me. I find that the MAC lip glass lasts a very long time, but I haven't used any MAC products in so long. So I'm really happy that I discovered this new shade in all things magical. Absolutely gorgeous. Like it is so beautiful. As you can see, this lip combo is probably going to be my new favorite. It's very glam and sexy, but also flirty too. So pretty. So yeah, I highly recommend this. Oh, last but not least, I forgot the um, Morphe Mini Continuous Setting Mist. I believe this was around $13.00. I recommend this so far. Like to me, it brought my makeup look together. It doesn't look extremely matte. So I'm not sure what it's doing. You know what I mean? Like it didn't mattify the face and I don't really like a super matte finish. Um, but what I do know is that my face does not feel tight and that's exactly what I did not want. So I'm happy about that. Um, we'll see how long like this lasts, you know, throughout the day, if it makes the makeup last even longer. Um, it says it's a micro fine mist sets liquid or powder makeup with radiant. It's a radiant finish. Okay, so that's why. Um, so yeah, I would say it gave me a radiant finish, but it doesn't look oily by any means either. So, so far I like this. Um, maybe I should throw on a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter since I'm going to be outside. Let's see. Now this I used to use for years and I got this in PR recently. I know that this is something that really keeps the makeup on. So I just sprayed that for the, you know, end of the video. So those are my thoughts on the new products that I tried out today. Let me know some of the products you guys have been um, interested in lately or you have picked up and you absolutely love. I'm really into makeup right now. So I definitely want to hear your thoughts and blush in particular. Like I've been palling on the blush, but I do like the fact that with the Juvia's Place, girl, you don't need much at all. Like this cheek, tell me this cheek is not popping. This cheek is everything, okay? It's everything. Also, let me go ahead and finish off with my fragrance of the day. I'm gonna go in with the Rosia Elixir Essence. This is a very like fruity fragrance, perfect for the summer. It's juicy, very fine, light mist. I don't find that it lasts forever, so I can overspray. But yeah, absolutely loving how juicy and fruity that is. I get a lot of peach in that, iris and all the beautiful things. So yeah, this is the makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the description box. I'll have everything that I use linked down below, including the older products that, you know, are tried and true for me. So yeah, I will talk to you on my next video. Bye.